Hi everybody, it's Terry Terry Kelly Style coming back at you for another video. Yes, y'all. How you guys doing? I hope you're doing okay. I missed you, of course, as usual. Uh, yes, you guys, let's go ahead and get right into it. Okay, I film now once a week. I'm trying to get back to the uh, three times, but we'll see how that goes. But to see more of me, what are you going to do? You're going to click what? You're going to click like, subscribe. And click that bell to be notified. Like, subscribe. And click that bell to be notified. Yeah, yes, y'all. It's Tammy Tam Kelly Style. Okay, so uh, uh, let's get right into it, you guys. I'm excited about today. Uh, I ordered out again. Okay, we got some Jersey Birds. Ooh, ooh. Because I've been having a taste, you guys for a uh, uh, sub uh, sandwich, okay? And none other the better way to get it is Jersey Mike's. Okay, uh, I have a, uh, mine is gonna be a giant, of course. Okay, okay. And then, uh, <laughs> uh, she hates when I say okay. Uh, <laughs> and then, um, it's a giant turkey and provolone. Okay, uh, the, usually the, the sandwiches I like from Jersey Mike's is either tuna or turkey. Okay, and it's so delicious, both of them. I was having a hard pro problem trying to figure out which ones I wanted. Okay, and then I got some uh, goodies here, some cookies, some chips. So uh, my um, favorite ginger ale, I didn't get a soda from there because I wanted my ginger ale. And um, we're going to get to go, you guys. Okay, so how are you guys doing today? Let's get right into it. Tell me what you guys are eating with me. Um, Christy, say hi to the world. Hi. She's here, you guys filming. Oh, wow, I haven't even opened this yet. Let's serve. I'm excited. I'm tearing up everything. Yeah, you are. Okay. Usually, usually the different issue guys with this. Usually, I'm there watching them make my sandwich, but this time we ordered it. This is my first time ever doing it this way. Is this your first time doing this right here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because usually I'm I'm there. And I'm like uh, uh, a little extra, uh, 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 you know. So it looks good though. Hmm. Why don't you move the chips so they can see? Okay, here. How about that? And the cookies, or if you put the cookies on the. Yeah. Okay. That's there dessert. Yeah, you can see the sandwich. Can y'all see my sandwich? It's a thumbnail like that. We'll move the bag back. <laughs> back over to the Yeah, room. so it can be seen with dirty lights. So you mean my logo? Yeah. Is that good? Why'd you just push the Dorito bag though down? What do you want me to do? Put like, it up? Yeah, I had it fucked up how it did. You just scrunched it. There's Aww. a Dorito bag have to be in this. Okay. Okay, you guys. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm probably going to use the other one. <laughs> Correct. The pretty one. Eat with me, Cursor. Turkey, I got turkey, provolone, and um, you know, it is. I got turkey, provolone, lettuce, tomatoes, and they do it the Jersey Mike's way, which is like all uh, olive, uh, olive, uh, olive oil, vinegar, and uh, uh, oregano. Oh, is it salt and pepper too, or no? I think salt and pepper too. We'll see. Mmm, mmm, bruh. Does it taste good like you, like the way you wanted it? Like how if you were to order it there in person? Mm, I would I would ask a mail. Yeah, they don't give you that option on the website. <laughs> Oops. But it's good. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. Jersey Mike, y'all. Jersey Mike, y'all. Mm, mm, mm.
This is delicious. Chris you got. Instead of getting one giant, she got two million. Two of just the small or whatever the regular is to call it. Which is one Italian and one club. Yeah, I got Italian and clubs. Mmm. We're smart. Um. Oh, this is the club. And her club comes with ham, turkey, no, roast beef. Ham. I thought it was supposed to come with roast beef. I don't think they did it right. They didn't even do my bread right. They gave me the wrong bread. What bread did you ask for? The herb one. They gave me the plain one. Like yours. I don't know any difference, you guys. When you don't go by yourself, they don't get it right. That's the only thing about um, the complaint that I've seen where they forget something mm. or they don't do it right. Mm. That makes sense. So that's it. Oh, it's probably blurry. That's the club. Yeah, they messed up on it. It's okay. I'm going to do it that way. Mm. Mmm. Mmm. Looks good. Mmm. Hope everybody is staying safe out there. Oh, God, that's some crumbs in my hair. And healthy. Mmm, I'm, sure. I'm tackling this. Mmm. Mm, taste that provolone cheese. I like the white bread though. It's like Italian. And they didn't give me my avocado. We're gonna have to call it. Yeah. Um. This is two, three things now they missed. Um, on this order. Yeah. And that we paid for, so yeah. And that's not the person's fault, right? That would be the their fault, so I don't know. Yeah, because they're the one bagging it, looking at those feet, right? But last time I had to go through DoorDash and um, do the complaint or get the money back. But but this is the But they didn't fault. even put it on the sandwich. Right. So I'm going to have to figure that one out. I don't know. Next time I go to Jersey Mike's, oh, wait, be in did. person. Look. Oh, they Just put it in little. there? Just a little? Yeah, okay. And they probably try to do it for $5. <laughs> the dollar seventy-five. Couldn't get a whole full spread for $1.75. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. It looks good, though. Because see the thing with Jersey Max is deli meat. Mm -hmm. Deli fresh meat. You want that? I got one. Mm mm mm. Ooh, I'm getting to the. Huh? I'm getting to my favorite one. Go ahead, you guys, take the first bite. Get bigger than that. Get bigger than that. Okay. <laughs> mm. Plus another reason I like, not only do I like getting the two small ones because of the two different styles, but I like eating like one now and then like, cause this is like lunchtime and then I'll eat one later for dinner. Mm. You know? Mm-hmm. I could taste that vinegar. Mmm. The pile it on there. So you guys, we've been good. We're doing our thing again, still working. Um got more material just in out there so for you guys to see. And we'll be um posting it on Fridays. So 
There's one coming out. Um, this one's a little colder. There's one coming out this Friday. Um, it's not gonna be this one, huh? Why, baby? I just thank you guys for watching with your continuing support um, out there. Hopefully, you know, I will continue to grow. Uh, we will continue to put out the best content as we can, right? Mm -hmm. Look at that, y'all. Mm. I used to get, when I get my turkey and cheese, I used to hook it up and get like bacon on it. Um, um, maybe we add ham or something. But, I really like the, just the turkey and the cheese because you can really taste the flavors of the turkey and that meat and the bread. It, it gives you the taste of that, that turkey hoagie. Sometimes less is more. If you do too much, so it takes away, right? So out of, I know you did all three. Jersey Mike's, Subway, and Jimmy John's. Jimmy John's, which one do you like best? You know, as you get older, I want to say this first. Your palate graduates and it grows. Um, crazy thing is, when I was younger, I really liked Subway. Um, I really didn't have, um, I don't think we really had too much Jimmy John's back then. That's new, huh? I don't know. But I really like Jimmy John's too. But theirs are smaller. I think now that I'm, you know, graduated, oh. <laughs> uh, I, really, I really like Jersey Mike's because when you walk in there, they straight, it's like you're in a deli. Cause they just carve the meat out, fresh, right there in your face and put it down in your thing. So you tasting all this fresh, you know, uh, all this freshness. And it's, you know, as simple as lettuce, tomatoes, salt, pepper, all vinegar, oregano, but it's delicious, you know? And that, and that you can even taste that they made the bread like this morning or something because it's just melting in your mouth. You know, I hate when somebody has too much, like, crunchy bread or... But this is, is... The softness is perfect. Look at that, guys. Everything is so good. And from Jersey Mike's, I love... I, I love the tuna. Oh, yeah, that's what you were doing. You were comparing tunas, huh? And Jersey mm -hmm. Mike's was your favorite tuna. Mm -hmm. Right? That was my favorite tuna because... They have to do a different, unique ingredient in their um, tuna. They put, you know, milk, mustard, all that. But they actually put soy sauce in it. It will sound like, what? So what's that? Ew, no. But you ask them, when you go there, ask them to taste it first before you get it. You're gonna be like, oh, this is delicious. It really, really kicks up the, um, the tuna. Mmm. This is what I've been wanting. I don't know I've been wanting them. For a while. We can see at my work since I'm working from home. I used to go get this at work. Now I can't go get it. We don't it's not close to here or anything. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I don't know. My favorite is still Subway. Really? Uh-huh. Why? I just like, um, well, I like all the different varieties that you can have. Like, this is just, all you get is just mayo, mustard, da da da, da. You know what I mean? 
I mean, I got Other a subway. Than olives, you know. Yeah, I like all the different vegetables you can put on it. And this is just lettuce and tomato and onions. I usually you get know? peppers on it too, but. Uh, but I like that you can get a whole variety at Subway. And um, I love their, that, what did I normally get? The onion, the sweet onion mm. sauce. And what's the other one? Sweet onion, it's two of them I do. I don't do mayonnaise or mustard. I do the sweet onion and. And honey mustard. Is it honey mustard? Mm-hmm. Okay, those two. I don't know, and I just think I love their bread. The uh, I like the cheese bread, the cheese. Herb, bread. The garlic. Yeah, herb the manager that they gave me regular here, even though I asked for the the other one, the herb one. Um, their meat is better, Jersey Mike's. Well, yeah, their meat's better, but um, because it's like like you said, it's fresh. Um, but uh, but yeah, I like. I wish like it had the toppings that you could add on. You know what I mean? Different, you know? And I wish, I don't know, the bread, too. I like Subway's bread. I like that Well, one. they do usually have that. That's, we didn't put on there that we wanted onions. Did it, did it show you a way it to... It comes with onions. Oh. It's onions, lettuce, and tomato here. Or oh, I forget onions. Mmm. But y'all, um, I'm a more of a veggie person, so I like all the different kinds of vegetables and stuff on mine. Mm -hmm. Well, when I go to supper, I get everything. Mm -hmm. On it. That is one of the good features. And I usually get the club at some point. Mm -hmm. It's so good. Mm -hmm. And that one comes with the mm -hmm. ham, roast beef, and turkey. Mm-hmm. Plus bacon. I usually tell them that. Bacon. See, when I go to Subway, I, I order both our sandwiches and I have them hook it up. <laughs> and then, with Jimmy John's, I don't know, I've had it one time and I just didn't enjoy you it. You like it. Mm -mm. The bread is smaller too. It's like a roll. It was really dry or something to me. I don't know. Yeah, you didn't like it. Uh -uh. I like it. Because I like sandwiches that taste like, you know, like hoagies, like submarine sandwiches, like, you know. But, mm -hmm. I only did try that one time. So, I'll definitely have to try it again because it could be the way the person made it. You know, um, that day, you know, sometimes places are hit and a miss. So, I'm not gonna like roll it out all together yet. Till at least try it one more time. You guys, she opened her sandwich up and she's like eating the lettuce off of it. <laughs> <laughs> I ate my lettuce and tomato off of it. <laughs> all she needs is a fork. <laughs> <laughs> I deconstruct my food when I eat. <laughs> Reconstruct it, that's for sure. <laughs> mm, this is so good though. Another this reason like I don't eat on camera. <laughs> <laughs> they probably be, they probably be like looking at you, what is she over there doing with her food? Are she gonna eat it yet? She's like counting the, the tomatoes and putting the pickles on the left side. And, I mean, trust me, you guys probably have. OCD with her eating. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I do. I'm like, just put it up in your mouth. <laughs> no, it's just because it's, sometimes it's easier for me to eat it this way. Mmm. Mmm, so good. There's a reason to my madness. <laughs> mm. A reason for it all. Mm mm mm. That was delicious. I'm excited, but I'm telling you, I'm not, I'm going to say it again. But next time I order anything from Jersey Mike's, I will be there myself. Yeah. People can't read directions, right? Uh-uh. 
in his hand. It said, said roast beef, didn't it? I thought it said roast beef. Maybe I read it wrong. <laughs> Maybe I read it wrong, too. Mm hmm. He just woke up, y'all. Both things work hard. <laughs> You guys, comment below. Which place do you like the best? Jersey Mike's, Subway, or Jimmy John's? Oh, I'm making a mess over here. All over the board. Mmm. <laughs> and why does Subway no, make it it's melt supposed in the mouth? to come with Roast beef. Oh, and they even didn't even. I think they gave me the wrong burger. I mean, wrong burger, wrong sandwich altogether. I think they gave me the um. Well, no, because this has turkey on it. Um, I don't know which one they gave me, but they gave me the wrong one because it's supposed to have uh, a Russian roast beef, curfew. Swiss cheese. It doesn't have Swiss cheese. It has provolone cheese, um, bacon, and turkey. And they gave me ham. Turkey and provolone. And ham does not look like roast beef. No, it's a whole different color. But mm. well, ham and turkey is good. Is it any good? It's good, but you know, it's not what I ordered. She likes her roast beef. Oh crap! Mmm. <laughs> Yeah, they gave me the wrong one. I don't know which one they gave me. Well, we're either going to get a free meal <laughs> or some money back. Hmm. Did you already eat one half yet? Or? I, have, I only get, I get two of those. Like how you got four, I got two on the side. You need your Italian yet. What comes in Italian? For tonight. <laughs> Good question, because I don't know if they're going to put it right. <laughs> the Italian is supposed to have... Supposed to have a pepperoni, salami, provolone, ham, um, prosciutto, whatever that is, and capocciolo. I don't know how to say it. Whatever they are. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know if they did that one right either. Well, they they took the ham and put it on that one. Mm -hmm, they put they did the ham <laughs> and turkey. With problem. Take another bite, you guys. Gobble, gobble. <laughs> At least it's good. Mm -hmm. Y'all know, if there would have been Tammy's sandwich wrong, she would be it raising been Armageddon. the power now. Yes. I would have blew a gasket, a pipe. I would have been like, no! <laughs> I wouldn't do that. You have to have all in your teeth. <laughs> that was a bad image. No! <laughs> she does. She gets so mad when her food is wrong. Well, don't you guys do. I mean, don't you hate that you get your mouth ready for something? You know, your mouth is watering and it's ready. And then you get it, and it's not nothing the way you wanted it, and asked for it. Mm -mm. I'm sorry. You about to hear it, okay? <laughs> I mean, not every time. I mean, do I get mad every time? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Because, because I'm particular, you know. Like, want some of my chips? Mm -hmm. Um, 
uh, you know, I feel like if I break it down to you, you know. You're having issues today, huh? Yeah. In alphabetical, you know, outline form, I usually don't get it right. You're not even paying attention. Okay? It's like, come on. I used to be in the food industry. You know, I used to always, it's, you have to be detailed with people stuff. Some people are allergic to stuff. You know, you can't be messing up and putting stuff on there that they didn't ask for. I can cause quite a problem. So they bite down in, into mustard and they got a highly, uh, you know, allergic and their face turns into like a mushroom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've had that happen before. What? Yeah. I mean, I felt like horrible. Boom. Or is that because you messed up right in the order? Or is that because the cook put it wrong? No, because her first time to a mushroom. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean. No. Mm, I know what you're doing. Because it messed up the order, though. Was it you or was it the person that made the food? Mm mm. I was the cashier. Right. So I put the order in right. I said no mustard. Right? The cooks, they'd be, you know, behind, rushing. Those are the ones that usually mess up the food. Mm hmm. And it's always when somebody, you know, call out and so they do the extra duty work and they're tired. Mm -hmm. Well, it's all about quality service. You know what I mean? If your workers aren't happy, you're not going to get quality. That's why I love Chick fil A. Yeah. They're always happy. In and out. Great call and in and out. Mm -hmm. Those are the two best, I would say, fast food customer service. And if you look at it, guess what? They, have, they be having more than enough workers there. Mm-hmm. They have tons. Like four people just to cover outside. That line be going like 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 fast. You get in there, line be wrapped around the whole city. But you, you don't mind standing in it because you're just like, zoop, zoop, zoop. Mm -hmm. And when they get to you, they're like, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> And I'm like, yeah, it makes you just want to order all the chicken sandwiches in the building. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm like, oh, yeah, let me get this one. Let me get that one. Let me get that one. Sure. Anything else? Um, let me see. <laughs> and then yeah. they're always willing to ask, like, do you want sauce with that? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, they're pushing more stuff. Mm -hmm. How many sauces are you going to like that? Uh, six? Oh, six? Okay, they put the exact number there, too. Six. Uh, Chick Fil A sauces, uh, three, and bags. they don't tell you. Oh, you can only have one. <laughs> right, right, or or forty six for the next one, or if they don't charge you for those. So you get all the sauce you want, all the ranch you want. I love Chick Fil A. That's what we really have to eat at next here. <laughs> I don't care. Represent them. Mm. And and not the same way. I mean, sit it out. You look at them. They have like 10 people making hamburgers, you know, more than enough workers back there. More, more than enough, uh, co you guys, she's eating her cheese off the, off the sound. She rolled it up and she ate it. <laughs> Lord. Uh, so, <laughs> so, I'm t I told them that you eat weird and I'm explaining to them what I feel is weird. She breaks it up in, in puzzles. So, <laughs> you're like, you do like a little kid and break it up for, okay, can you try to eat that? Little squares. Um, so. I like my triangles. <laughs> <laughs> really? You, <laughs> you would like our triangles. Excuse me for saying squares. Oh, Lord. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, <coughs> oh God. So, uh, it's more eye appealing. Oh, goodness. Yeah, because it's more decorative, isn't it? Mm -hmm. um, no, but in and out, I mean, same way as Chick fil A, I mean, customer service. Uh, it just it makes you, when you're happy um, and they're happy, uh, it's like a morale that just travels. And it makes you want to spend your money. You know, it makes you want to buy exactly what you want. Yes, I'll take a three by three combo. Go large and add them on salad since your smell is so nice. And uh, we're going to blame it on the customer service for getting bad. <laughs> no, but uh, you know what I mean, you guys. Great customer service travels afar. I mean, just like, that's why I like to go to nice places. 
good quality places. Even the restaurants, Cheesecake Factory, they're always upbeat and happy. And, you know, you can get some bad services at restaurants still. And even, you know, at fast food. But the, these are the top three, you guys. If you want good service, make sure you go to these places. Chick-fil-A, you're going to get top 100% uh, great customer service, okay? And you're going to love your food because it's always fresh, okay? And the fries, too. You don't have to be like McDonald's and order them with no salt just to get some fresh shop fries, okay? No, you can order your fries the way you want it. Large fry, and they're going to season them. They're going to do that. You don't have to worry about saying that, uh, no salt just to get them hot and fresh, okay? And, and nowadays, it's like they're doing something different, too. Like when you ask for fresh fries, they're trying to be slick on you. they double dipping them in the oil. You can tell that because they're extra crunchy and still stale. Mm -hmm. It's like, what? You think I'm, I, I was born yesterday? Come on. Anyways, I can go all day about this customer service work. But the three places that you guys want to go, check it out. If you have not been, you're going to know that I'm right. Chick-fil-A. But and one it, thing about Chick-fil-A, they're not open on Sundays. Yeah, they're not they're open not on bad. Sundays. So that's a good thing. It's Sabbath day. You know what I mean? Just like in some uh, places in South, like Texas, don't sell liquor on Sundays. You know what I mean? Right. You got to refrain for that. You got to give God his day. Give God the glory. Okay? How many times have we went <laughs> over the years to Chick-fil-A and we're like, oh, Sunday? I know, I know. <laughs> and that's why me? Saturdays is usually so busy, too. Because yeah. everybody's trying to get it in. You know what I mean? Before uh, Sunday. Because they know Sunday, they're going to be at church. Okay, so what's the other one? So, Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A is number one. Okay. Then In-N-Out is number two. In-N-Out, great cu customer service. They do the same thing. When the lines are too long, they bring about four people out there to take orders. And the orders and the lines just go fast. Okay, and then, like I said, you never get into it, nobody. Uh, you never argue. They have the great customer service. I told one lady, I said, uh, I think it was at Chick-fil-A. Oh, yeah, it was, uh, I ordered a, a combo. Uh, chicken sandwich combo, but instead of uh, fries, I wanted the large mac and cheese. Y'all got to try the mac and cheese. Oh, oh my God, it's the best. Mm, mm, mm. Anyways, so it's like they actually put it in the oven and like melt the cheese in there and everything. It's like home style home mac and cheese. Anyway, so I got that and then I looked in the bag. I to you know how you check it every time before you go home. I'm looking at my cat. <laughs> so, um, so, and I check it and then they gave me the small mac and cheese. And I'm like, oh, I asked for the large mac and cheese in the combo. So um, I scrolled up to the front, and I saw uh, just a random worker uh, walking, about to walk in. And I said, excuse me, because I did not want to get back in that long line or walk back in that busy store because uh, I just got out of drive-thru. And I said, excuse me, I said, I just got out of uh, drive-thru, and I noticed they gave me the small mac and cheese when I ordered the large mac and cheese. And she was like, oh, oh, okay, no problem. Oh, uh, uh, what's your name? And I told her my name. And she said, I said, do you need my receipt? Oh, no, it's okay. And she said, I was just going to get you large. You can keep that one, too. And I was like, thanks, okay. So I got the large one, and I got to keep that one. And she came out and handed it to me with a smile, okay? And she did not stutter. She did not get ugly. She gave me the stink face, nothing. Okay, like I get at McDonald's or, or, or Popeye's, okay? Yeah, I said Popeye's. Don't worry, good. I love Popeyes though, but their customer we service both love Popeyes, sucks. But yes, customer service <laughs> sucks. They were like, "You want chicken? What kind of chicken? You want a mild? So you want a spicy?" Yeah, yeah. I was like, "Oh." And then yeah. they want to argue about everything too. They're yeah. always right, and you're never right. That's why during this pandemic, I have enjoyed cooking and and not being at these fast food places. We've been in in in, in months, y'all, mm -hmm. and it's been it's been such a great experience. Um, other than the fact that, you know, you get tired of cooking sometimes, but it's so worth it. You know what I mean? But, yeah, those are the top three places. Um, you never said the third one. Uh, it's Chick-fil-A, uh, in and out and the third is Cheesecake Factory. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Cheesecake Factory. Yeah, so those are the three places, guys. If you want to have fun, you want a nice, clear, you want to feel better about yourself, <laughs> anything, you want to be happy, <laughs> okay, go there and get your food you guys <laughs> i am not playing you will leave with a smile on your face but cheesecake factory isn't a fast food it's a restaurant yeah but, it's a restaurant but they um, do have the best customer service they do have the best customer service so nice mm -hmm. and you guys make sure you get your slice of cheesecake too 
You don't go if to Cheesecake Factory. If you ever come to Southern California, go to the one in Newport Beach. Yes, because they have the <laughs> ocean view. Because you have the ocean view and it's so nice and pretty. And you can check out that video. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. But yeah, I have a video, you guys, um, that you can look at. We ate at that Cheesecake Factory at the ocean view and they filmed it all, too. So make sure you check it out. I'll put it in the link below. Yeah. Uh huh. Yay! See, everything happens. You know what I'm saying? For a reason. Um, but, anyways, everybody loves good quality and good customer service. So, I know you guys will like it too. Because, you know, if I had a great experience, you will as well. So, um, and, and the thing too is when you're spending your money, you want to you wanna be able to spend it knowing that it went to a good purpose. You know, not feeling like. Like, you know, like, especially like when they make all kind of mistakes, you feel like you got got, you know what I'm saying? You feel like you've been, you know, bamboozled, you know? <laughs> you don't want to feel like that when you uh, buy your food. You want to feel fulfilled, you know what I mean? You want to be like, oh, yeah, that was worth it. Oh, that's so good, you know? Mm. But anyways, enough of that. Uh, <laughs> but try it, you guys. I'm not playing. What's the three, Christy? Do you remember? Yes. Number one is Chick Fil A. Number two is In and Out, and three is Cheesecake Factory. You're right. The Cheesecake Factory is a restaurant, but a high quality one. Mm -hmm. There's not there are not many in many states, but if you come across one and you see it, go. I'm so full, but this is so good. Tell okay, y'all, help me eat it. Another bite. I'm gonna save the rest for the night. <laughs> that rhymed. Take another bite. I'm gonna save the rest for the next. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. <laughs> um, um. Anyway, I love doing this, you guys. Coming on here because I miss you. Um, we having a lot to talk to y'all about, but. Comment below if you've been there. You know what I'm talking about. Or if you know other places that you think have good customer service. Yeah, and, and I'll go try those out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That Which, too, you know, areas do depend a lot of times on the places you go. But I've never been out of all the different areas of, like, cheesecake. I'm not cheesecake. Well, cheesecake, too. They're all um, in good cheesecake areas. Cheesecake and... Uh, Chick fil A and um, In N Out, any one, any city I've been to, they have all are all the same throughout. You can go to um, Cheesecake Factory in Compton. And and you'll get some good, good Right, yeah. right. And same thing, like, I mean, here, like, you say you go to the McDonald's around the corner and they suck. You go to the McDonald's, like, the next town over and they're, like, really good. You right. know, it just, but then also it can vary with the time of day. It depends on the employee, really, mm -hmm. and uh, because if they're happy with their job or they're not happy with their job. <laughs> you right. Know what I mean, That's good and what happened to them that day? I mean, right? Yeah, because I mean, I literally when I was at McDonald's, I got to, and I, I'm a nice person. You gotta do something highly, just off the charts to get me ticking, okay? Because I give you chances. Because I know, you know, it's, it's McDonald's, okay? I'm not going to be expecting much, you know. Half of them probably don't even have, a, you know, a, a PhD or whatever it is. A diploma? A diploma, yeah. <laughs> PhD. I don't think anybody that have a PhD right. before getting to <laughs> They'd be a fool. <laughs> Y'all know what I mean. Or they're going through a midlife crisis and lost their mind. <laughs> Oh goodness! Tammy's losing it, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Forgive me, y'all. But you know, I was saying, you guys know what I'm saying. But um, because I went to uh, the McDonald's and the girl, she just uh, you know, I always ask for my food fresh, and so she gave me the bag, and of course, yeah, I took fry. I tried to make sure it's fresh. It wasn't fresh, you guys. It was, in fact, it was stale. Okay, and it was cold. And then I said, mm -mm. I said, excuse me. I said, I asked for them fresh. And she was like, it is. I said, you need to taste it. I said, because it's not. And she looked at me like, and she paused and said, do you want to take them back? I said, do you want them back? <laughs> so I can get some fresh ones? I'm like, come on, chop, chop, get on this. You know, you never get this from Cheesecake Factory. They don't stutter. They would not hesitate. They wouldn't even give me that in the first place. 
Okay, you don't serve nobody anything like that. You don't serve it to a dog, let alone a human. You know what I mean, a person. So uh, uh, she finally takes it back, you know, with a little stink eye, and then um, she goes back and, and gives me another one quite quite fast. And I'm thinking, okay, either, uh, uh, either this just came right up, or she playing games with me. And so she gives me the other one. And we're, okay, of course I want to check it, and I checked it. <clears throat> And I said, um, I said, okay, that's not fresh. I said, but that's better. I said, uh, and uh, thank you. And she said, and I said, thank you. And she didn't say anything. And I said, thank you. And she didn't say anything. I said, you may want to clock out and go home. I said, because you're not doing your job. <laughs> All right. I said, and I looked at her just like that. I said, guess what? I'm going to do it for you. And I'm going to contact the uh, corporate and let them know they got a lazy, uh, unprofessional worker here. Thank you. And she was like, Wait, are you kidding me? You're not, I, you I was like, thank you. And you're not, you're like literally in my face, not even saying nothing bad. <laughs> you're being defiant. Just like, you know what I mean? <laughs> I've never had any kind of service like that before. It's and like, Tammy actually did really call. She called the, yeah, first she called the place, mm -hmm. playing to the manager at the actual McDonald's. So and did. then <laughs> she actually corporate i'm like really you're gonna go that far they're not gonna do nothing i don't like care. that's the thing is they're i not gave gonna her do nothing. name her badge number everything <laughs> and i said this person does not need to be a, cu a cashier in front of the customers i said y'all need to put her back there in the cooks okay <laughs> where she's not dealing with anybody because she does not have any customer service skills i said it was fact she probably needs to be fired because she was so defiant and she uh 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 literally did not speak to me on purpose in my face. Uh, you know, I mean, these millennials nowadays just don't have no kind of training. And I find out I'm kind of a millennial too. <laughs> <laughs> and she said I sound like an old lady when I talk like that. Uh -huh. These millennials? <laughs> Anyways, you guys know what I'm talking about. This whole show has been about customer service. We know how to name this. <laughs> Oh, gosh. So, anyways, you guys, put a star. If you guys managed to stay this long, <laughs> towards the end, put a, a heart a star. <laughs> emoji. A heart emoji or something that let me know you understand customer service, okay, comes first. And y'all know what I'm talking about. Okay. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm not going to hold you up. But thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you were eating with me as well. I just spit out food. <laughs> Well, they probably didn't see that. I'm sure but they now they're that. probably going to look. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, yeah, because it may happen. Hey, um, uh, but let me know, you guys, and comment below. And yes, until next time, you guys know I'm going to be posting every Friday now. So uh, until I get back to Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, you want to click like, subscribe, and click that bell to be notified. Like, subscribe, and click that bell to be notified. Yes, yeah, so y'all. Who is it? It's Tammy Tam Kelly Style. Until next time, I'm signing out. Mwah, I love you guys. Bye bye.